So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th tutorial for calculator and 17th on react native playlist and in this video let's just continue off where we left in the last one as always. So that's the exact point where we left in the last video in fact you can just see um, I've not even just done any changes even just continue the tutorial from the last video only. Alright so let's just get into the validation of this text before we actually hit it and if we see um, what we have right here is that how we are calculating this is uh, if we press equal to we see that we call this function but actually before calling this function what I want to do is just validate the text as well so to validate the text what I want to do is just basically say something like this dot to validate and this dot calculate result so what it would do basically is that if this function returns false then obviously the second condition for the and would not run so if this returns true then our this function would actually run so we can safely just implement our logic right here so again we're going to just get the text first this dot state dot result text right here all right so now as of now what i can just um, imagine as a edge case is that we just leave an operator right there so if we do like something like if text dot slice negative one um, is equal to like um, plus or actually like we can just switch over it as well if you we want we can actually just create an array as well of these operators there are so many ways to do a single thing in JavaScript sometimes so text of slice negative one is equal to or actually not equal to right here case plus case uh, minus case multiplication case division and we just return return false right and it just return true otherwise all right there we go so now what I want to do is just basically try out it again so I dismiss and I say um, let me just try it from here only so if I just say equal to I get 22 very well if I add a plus and then write equal to <clears throat> okay the app does not crash that seems right 55 equal to that's great so now <clears throat> if I try to do like something like 55 point and then do equal to then also it does not crash and mainly it does not because you can see whenever eval would crash then your so would your application so you see that actually in JavaScript numbers are not really um, <clears throat> You know it does not really bitch about if you leave a decimal right here so you see that x is still 55 right here even if you write 55 dot right so it's not a big deal so yeah that's basically it that's how you would add a little bit of validation to your um, input field right here and that's all for this one and in the next video we're just gonna take a look at how to improve this uh, UI a little bit because it kind of looks messy and that should be the end of the calculator little mini series as well so yeah I'll see you then in the next video